Hey everyone, so in this video I'm going to be talking about the weight bar that you can use in MATLAB to show the progress of a uh, calculation or of your code. Um, so I'm, in this video I'm just going to go, uh, I'm just going to talk about how to set up a basic weight bar. Um, okay, so the first thing that you want to do um, when creating the weight bar is create the actual weight bar. So create the weight bar like this, zero, and we're just going to call it weight bar, or we'll call it weighting, and that's what shows up uh, in the actual weight bar, which you'll see. And so before I go into like a loop about it, um, so what the weight bar does is the argument to the weight bar um, fills in a fractional area of the weight bar based on the number that you that you put in. So here's the weight bar, and here's the argument to the weight bar. So in here I'm going to put in three tenths. So it's going to fill up three tenths of the weight bar. And I'll pause that for a second, and then I'm going to fill it up with six tenths. And I'll pause that for a second so you can see it. And then I'll fill it up with uh, ten tenths, which is the full thing, so it should be uh, fully filled. Pause that for one second, and um, and then it'll, oops, and then we'll delete the uh, delete, and then we'll delete the, like, the weight bar. Okay, so, so you can see it fills up three tenths, six tenths, and then ten tenths, and then it deletes the weight bar. So if I don't put the delete on here, then you can see that this weighting will show up as the, as the text in the weight bar. So you can see here it says weighting in the text, and then you can delete it like that. Okay, so. So that's basically what a weight bar does. So if we put it into a loop, so we can put it into a loop like this. So I'm going to create another weight bar. I shouldn't have deleted that. So weight bar zero, and we'll call this one iterating. Dot dot dot. And then um, we'll create a loop i is equal to one in steps of one to a thousand. And we'll make the weight bar. Um, we'll put the argument as the weight bar as one over a thousand. So uh, one over a thousand. So it'll show the progress of our loop. Uh, and then we can end that. And then we'll delete it after, I can't spell delete, delete it after it's done. So here, if we run this, you can see that it's going through from I to 1,000. Okay, so another thing that you can do is you can put a title on the weight bar, uh, which I'll show you here. The title will go up here. This one's the student version because I use the student version because it's cheaper, but it'll go up here. And to set the title, what you do is you set the weight bar, name is the property value, and then I'll just call it a basic weight bar. Oops. Like this, and you'll see that pop up up here. So it's called a basic weight bar. Okay. And then another thing that you can do is uh, let me put in a conditional statement that only outputs this, uh, if it's on a certain iteration. So I'll put in uh, if the modulus of the iteration number and 5 is equal to 0, then I'll put the weight bar. And so what this does is every fifth iteration, it'll output the weight bar. Um, okay. So you can see how fast it ran when I output every fifth. So if I output every every single one, you can see it takes a little bit slower. So the thing about the weight bar is that it takes a really, really long time uh, to draw it. And so if you're running a huge program where you'd like to see the progress of your, of your code, uh, you can put a weight bar in, but just know that it'll slow it down uh, significantly. So what you can actually do also is you can use the tick-tock commands. Um, to well, to see uh, how fast it runs. So every iteration it takes 1.14. If I change this to every fifth iteration, it takes 0.28, so 0.28 seconds. Uh, so you can see that's really time consuming. And before I end the video, I'm just going to sh show, um, so with no weight bar, uh, how much faster. So I'll do, uh, so tick, and then for this loop, 1 to 1,000. And what I'll do is I'll just print out to the screen uh, the iteration number, so iteration, and then integer over an integer, and end line, i, so integer i, or iteration i over a thousand, and then end, and then we'll end the timer, and this will show that it only took 0.03 seconds for all these, um, and they all print on the screen. So you can see that the weight bar takes a really long amount of time. Uh, so that's it, that's how you set up a basic weight bar in your code. Uh, I have a couple more things I'll be going over in subsequent videos. Uh, like changing the color, the cancel button, and how to reverse your weight bar. Thanks for watching.